West remains paralyzed on Friday the 13th. Another update from Brer Caleb, PhD. For tough times never last, tough people do. We give you an unofficial guide to an understanding of what the news means behind the scenes of today's broadcast. The US of A, also known as a foreign-owned United States corporation, corresponding to Benjamin Fulford's report. Pentagon, the Zionists are in for a rude awakening, as the EU headed by former German Defence Minister Ursula von der Leyen fronting for Bundeswehr, and are no fans of UK royals, Saudi Arabia, or Israel. The Swiss branch of the Rothschild family is under severe attack. Inside the US, more Democratic Party politicians are replaced by computer graphics as arrests and renditions to Guantanamo Bay continue, Pentagon sources say. With over 140,000 sealed indictments, the Department of Justice Inspector General is releasing its long-awaited report to crush the impeachment circus, the sources say. The 140,000 indictments story has yet to see any mass arrests. The Justice Department did indict eight individuals, including a convicted pedophile, for illegally funneling money into Hillary Clinton's presidential campaign in 2016. Attempts to discredit Trump by releasing evidence of his financed by Deutsche Bank also stopped. The British press is reporting that a Deutsche Bank banker who handled Trump's accounts found hanged. The US corporate media report that Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg temporarily blocked a lower court ruling ordering two banks to release President Donald Trump's financial records to house Democrats. We are sure Ginsburg is no longer with us, but we can only accept that intelligence agency sources use a computer-generated image of her to protect Trump. While this infighting takes place, the U.S. corporate government has yet to finance its operations past January 31, 2020, as European royal family sources say. There are negotiations between representatives of the 2.4 billion member British Commonwealth and the 1.5 billion member Catholic Church to decide what to replace the US corporate government with, according to P2 Freemasons and European royals involved in the negotiations. Negotiations stalled, by some medieval-minded people at the P2 Lodge, who still think in terms of a battle against Islam. As far as we can tell, the only significant difference between Islam and Christianity is polygamy. Anthropological data shows that almost every known society historically has practiced polygamy. Also, homosexual men are equal to the men who cannot find wives because of marriage. While issues of this sort are delaying a final agreement, a broad consensus reached to set up a meritocratically staffed world planning agency with an annual budget of at least $1 trillion, the sources say. There is also agreement that the agency will finance human expansion into the universe, they add. Another update from Brer Caleb, PhD. For tough times never last, tough people do. Below you will find a deception protocol, restorative justice link.